Thank you very much, Yunyong Primary. That was a very warm welcome. Thank you very much. My name is Bonnie Kruger. And I'm sure you are all excited to hear this presentation. Thank you. Before we get into the program proper, we're going to give you a song first. And this is called Il Kumbachero.
starting off in America, and fusion is the blend of these two, two uh, styles of music. But first, let me introduce a wonderful practice that you've heard, is Wendy Lowe. She plays the flute, she also plays piano, but today I'm playing the piano. And on drums we have a wonderful uh, rhythm man, we call him the rhythm man. This is Nick Osman on drums, please. And the guy playing that unusual instrument. What instrument is that? For oh, that violin? No violin? What is it? Hey, yes! You're very clever. You know your instrument that huh? nobody can fool you, huh? That is a double bass. And this is Piano, yes. And uh, the man on double bass is Brendan Wong. Brendan Wong. And my name is Bonnie Isuda. I will be presenting this program to you. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, first a little bit of history about Latin music. Now Latin, as the term suggests, comes from the Latin countries. Now what happens uh, in the old days, there's a, I'll give you a little bit of history lesson I don't mind. Huh? Quick history lesson. 16th century, yeah? Spain and Portugal were superpowers in those days. Now like America and China or Russia, a lot of superpowers. In the olden days, in the 16th century, Spain and Portugal were the superpowers. So they were always competing with each other to find new, discover new lands, to discover new wealth and riches in other countries. So they sent out their ships to a lot of countries. And some of them ended up in Southeast Asia, in Malacca, and in Indonesia, and the Spice Islands where they got valuable spices to bring back home to Europe to sell. And in those days, you just imagine, huh? one pound of pepper. How much one pound of pepper now you can buy? Two cents, right? Maybe one dollar, right? But in those days, one pound of pepper they bring back to Europe is worth one pound of gold. See? So they were all rushing to look for pepper and spices and other things to, to sell back home because they cannot get pepper in Europe. Anyway, okay, cut the long story short. Huh? Spain and Portugal sent their competing uh, ships out to look for wealth and riches. And some of them ended up in America, in South America, in Colombia, in Brazil, in Venezuela, in Argentina. That's why Argentina has the tango from Italy, from Europe. So, a lot of influence, the musical influence, travel to the South America. So, we like to give you a taste of what uh, music came from Spain initially. Initially, they brought in the Spanish music and one of the styles was a dance music called the flamenco. demonstration of what the flamingo sounds like.
So this Spanish influence came to America. Flamenco 